Back juiced up. up and ready. Juiced up and ready to go. So let's it's juiced up. Yeah. We'll, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. It took a long time for me to get to where I need to be, but here I am in Saskatoon, Canada. And this Saturday is the biggest night of not only my life, but seven other men that want an opportunity at something greater than themselves. And that's the guaranteed chance briefcase. You look at a man like Retrozerk, a robot. Hell, I can build a car and it'd be working better than Retrozerk. You look at a man like Opie Smith going through the drama queen shit with Jay Vice. Opie Smith, you don't got shit on me. You look at a guy like Marty who takes opportunity away to put his general manager self in a ladder match. Well, Marty, I'm going to give you two birds that'll fly you high and far away from that match. Who else is in that goddamn match? I don't even... Who else is in that match? Do you, anyone here know who's in that match? It doesn't even matter. I'll call out everybody in that match. Okay. I'll stun everybody in that match. Everybody in that match. Uh, we got everything. Oh, wait, I know who else is in that match. And thank you, Canadian. Real nice people here in Saskatoon. I like a tour of the islands. But let me tell you something about a man, I mean, former ABW champion. His name is Atoya. And his name. Of course. He's terrible that loves this guy. Man, you're doing great, you're doing great. Great job. Let me get a microphone. Look what I got, motherfuckers. Stan, you can name them all. You can name every man in that ladder match. And I agree with you. None of them have an opportunity at the guaranteed chance ladder match. The same opportunity, the same chance as a man like myself does. But that list also includes you. You see, I've never been in the ring with you before. And I don't really care to because, honestly, you're not really worth much. It doesn't sound like it to these people either. Well, let me tell you something, small boy. It doesn't matter what you say because the words don't matter. I'm out here to declare my guaranteed prediction for this ladder match, and it's me, Stay up and size. Oh, yeah, Gibson Ward's in that match. Yeah, that, is he? Oh, Rich is in that match. They wouldn't let the virgin in it. It doesn't matter, Stan Van Sight. It doesn't matter. You can talk all you want. You can babble all you want. You don't make any sense. I don't know how many beers you drank before you came out here. I'm a sober guy. I'm straight edge. And let me tell you one thing that's going to happen straight up at that ladder match. I'm going to throw you off the, the highest ladder possible. Because these people know it, and I know it. This Saturday's my night. Ha ha! Funny. This small Asian boy thinks he's going to be on top of the mountain. You had your time. You failed. And then you failed some more. You tried to beat that big fat boy, Bastion Robin. You failed. You tried to beat Retrozerk. You failed. You never beaten a guy like me. A tough as nail guy that eats screwballs and milk for breakfast. That's who I am. Screwballs, milk, beer, and some pasta. More babbling, huh? Well... I came out here to shut you up because I don't think these people want to hear you anymore. I don't really care what you have to say, and I'm a superstar, so things that I say matter. So why don't you go in the back, go to catering, get that belly big so it's harder for me to push you off that ladder. Why don't you do something like that? Why don't you actually strategize your plan? Because you already failed with a briefcase once. Oh, that's... You have a point? I did, but... You know, you already failed with the most prestigious championship once, yeah. You ran away from everybody, and the one time you defended it, you failed against Retrozerk, and you think anything's gonna change because what? Because these people are on your side? 
You know what's funny is these people, you won't even see them. When I take you on a tour of the islands, you're only going to see some birds and shit. Well, here's my challenge to you, Stan Van Sice. You want to talk. You want to talk. You're, you're pretty intoxicated. Well, let me be a genius. Let me strategize something. How about tonight, I give you an appetizer. An appetizer about what's going to happen to you at the Guaranteed Chance Rider match. A Toyo versus Stan Van Sice. Well, hell, you're wrong. How would I deny that? I mean, it's a small punk Asian kid. What, well, he's got no hair on his face, never had a beard in his life. Slick back hair, you look like Elvis Presley if Elvis Presley's penis was steroids. Let me tell you something. Tonight I take the small Asian boy out, and on Saturday I take down everybody else, the cheese head, everybody else. The Toyo, you want a challenge? I will accept your challenge, but it won't be a match. No, 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 it'll be a tour. It'll be a tour of Canada. You'll see all the great snowy mountains. You see all the great people shopping. And you'll drop right on top of the stiffest building when Stan Van Size picks you up, spins you down, and whoops your small, hairless, pubic ass all around the Canada. Let's make it happen, bitch. The fuck out of here. I had no idea Stan Van Size could be so fucking brutal. Stan Van Size is epic. He's right. You look like you look like Elvis Presley's penis on steroids. Yeah. Great, great content. He's right.